Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Brockton High School Staff Gymnasium for today's game between the Carver Crusaders and the Brockton Boxers. Today's starting lineup for the Crusaders, number 10, Katie Rudnick. Number five, Indy Barrett. Number 44, Holly Luzon. Number 11, Peyton Holmes. And number 30, Riley DeCourt. Carver is coached by John Rosen. Now the starting lineup for your Brockton Boxers. Number 22, Alexandra Gennaros. Number 23, Jelani Jackson. Number 14, Brianna Santos. Number 30, Michaela Robinson. And number 33, Annalicia Fernandez. The boxers are coached by April Dingwell. If everybody could please rise, remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome into Staff Gymnasium for today's matchup between the Carver Crusaders and your Brockton Boxers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner for today's action, Big Game Miles Jackson. Miles, a very big game. Jelani Jackson stands at 992 points. She's eight away from 1,000 in her high school career. Yeah, that, that's an awesome feat for this young lady who's not a big, big person. She's small in size, but she's big in stature. She's just one of the leaders of this lady boxer team, and we look forward for her to uh, hopefully break that um, record this evening. Well, there is going to be a ceremony at the point in which Jackson scores her thousandth. Scoring 18 points on Friday night against the Marshfield Rams. In to take the opening tip is Annalicia Fernandez and number 30 for the Crusaders, Riley DeCourt. Yeah, right now the boxers, the Lady Box are playing good right now. They're in which they need to be if they're gonna head into the playoffs. Fernandez winning the opening tip. Out of bounds. Right, right off the bat. Right off Mad the bat. Dog. Getting involved in the action. involved in the action. Trying to save some lives over here. Number five to inbound for the Crusaders. That is Indiana Barrett. The Crusaders put it out of bounds. And now Jelani Jackson with it. Jackson all the way up to Brianna Santos. Some room to run, laying it off the side of the backboard. No good. DeCourt comes down with the rebound. She gets it to number 20, Caitlin Rudnick. 
and 11 with a three, no good off the front of the rim. Fernandez with the rebound for the boxers, all the way up to Alex Gennaros. Gennaros off the glass, and in, uh, in strikes first. That was excellent transition right there. They inbounded the ball at the other end, quickly passed the ball up the court. There was no dribbling, and an easy basket for uh, Gennaros. Barrett stopping and popping, has her shot blocked. Number 44 putting it off the glass, no good. Holly Luzon. And she was fouled. The Crusaders will have 16 seconds off the inbound. Get in! The court is good for a short jumper. All tied up two to two with 7.08 to go. Santos bouncing it for Gennaros, wide open under the net, and she makes no mistakes. Yeah, Santos um, aware, Gennaros signaled to her, and um, Santos got the ball to her very quickly, another easy basket. Right 11 stopping and popping, no good. Jump ball called, Brockton will take over on downs. Well, I tell you, Fernandez is really hustling out there early in this game. She's diving for that basketball. Good, solid player. Jackson to Robinson, back to Jackson. One-handing it to Santos. Santos looking for Gennaros. It's out of bounds off of the leg of Caitlin Rudnick. Brockton with a fresh inbound, 22 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, this Brockton Lady Boxers team's a little bit faster, I can tell already, than the Carver team. Carver's gonna have a tough time trying to keep up with this fast and quick Lady Boxer team. Jackson over to Santos, back to Jackson. Looked at the net, now drives inside, puts up a floater, and that's good. Wow, you're talking about body control right there. Somehow drove to the basket, threw her body back because of some tough defense, and threw the ball up there with one hand, and it went in. The count is at six. There it is, yep, good. Counted in one for number 11, Peyton Holmes. Uh, hit on the arm ruled against the boxers. Yeah, that might have been against uh, Jackson. Holmes good on her three-point play attempt. And now Jelani Jackson to Fernandez to Alex Gennaros. Gennaros 18 points. And the other night, now Jackson for three, and it's good. And the count is at three. Nice way for Jackson to start off, get, showing her senior leadership. Fernandez coming up with a steal, but can't control it out of bounds. Carver takes over. It is worth noting the Crusaders wearing their away all maroon jerseys, black and white striped down the side, white trim around the black numbers. Brocked in their home whites, black striped down the side of the shorts, and red trim around the black numbers. Wow, that was a nice move right there by the Carver Crusaders guard there, number 11. Jackson for three and a thousand, no good. Brought down by Indiana Barrett. Barrett to DeCourt. The court wild shot bounces off the rim a few times and in. All tied up at nine, five minutes to go in the first. Jelani Jackson at 997 points in her high school career with it in for Annalicia Fernandez to Brianna Santos. She puts up an underhanded prayer and that goes out of bounds. Yeah, that's what that was. I'm not sure what she was thinking. She was trying to do a finger roll, but she was like seven, eight feet away from the basket. Give Carver a credit, it was good defense. Let's go four, shut up in four, four, and it's Spinning four, with it, four, giving it four, over to four, number 11, go, Peyton go, Holmes, go. Holmes to Luzon. Luzon to DeCourt, stopping and popping for a long two, and that's no good. Michaela Robinson with the rebound. Four and a half to go, she gives it to Jelani Jackson. Jackson down low to Fernandez. Fernandez counted in one. Wow, that was a beautiful post-up spin move a la Kevin McHale right there. Nice job by Fernandez. She has a chance for a three-point play. Eleven to nine, Brockton on top. And make that twelve to nine, Brockton up by three. A timeout called by 
the head coach of the Carver Crusaders. Miles, a pretty action-packed first quarter, 12 to nine. A little bit more higher scoring than what we've seen in the past. Yeah, surprisingly, um, Carver's done a good job on scoring some points to keep up with this uh, Lady Boxer team. Lady Boxer's looking real good on offense. Um, they're getting the ball up quickly and um, taking advantage of um, any easy baskets that they can um, muster up. And they've got a couple of them passes right in there to Gennaro's for um, four easy points. Alex Gennaro's, Annalisa Fernandez, Jelani Jackson accounting for all of the Brockton Boxers points today. And they've had very excellent first halves of the first quarter. Yeah, I mean, that's a one-two punch right there. Uh, Fernandez doing a good job. Santos doing a good job uh, fighting for the ball and getting it to those scorers. To be interesting, see, the, I think the key to this game right now will be what does Carver have on the bench? Because um, I'm sure these starters for Carver, they're going to start getting winded with the uh, fast play of um, the Lady Boxes. Brockton on a little winning streak. Their last loss coming January 27th against Holyoke. Since then, they faced the Durfee Hilltoppers, the New Bedford Whalers, and the Abington Green Wave, and of course, defeating Marshfield on Friday night away. We gotta have a screen, at Marshfield. Right? This is the final regular 31. season game for the boxers. And that's what Coach April Dingwell wants. He, she wants her team to be playing at the top level going into the playoffs. Barrett getting in the passing lane, and Peyton Holmes is shot no good. Jump ball called in a fresh shot clock for the Crusaders. Jade Wint in for Annalicia Fernandez. Miles, the last time we saw Jade Wint here at Staff Gymnasium, she went off 16 points and 16 rebounds. Yeah, she, she was uh, something else. And uh, the, the newspapers talked about her great play and especially her rebounding effort. She just controlled the boards when she, whenever she was out there. And along with those points, it was just a great game for her. Jade went with it now, giving it over to Robinson, to Jackson, to Gennaros for three is good. Wow, that was pretty. Nothing but net for Gennaros. 15 to 11, Brockton on top. Three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. The court to number 20, that is Caitlin Rudnick off the glass and in. Yeah, good ball movement by Rudnick to move without the basketball, and she was given to the given to her in the paint. Gennaro stopping with it for two is no good. DeCourt coming down with the rebound, gets it to Rudnick. Rudnick looking for Luzon. Grandma Santos said no way, threw it out of bounds. So the Crusaders, with 23 seconds on the shot clock, will inbound it right in front of the boxer bench. Ball going a little bit flat, so ref's going to check one off the rack, and we'll get going yet again. Go, go, go! Rudnick long in for Barrett. Barrett to Holmes. No good. Jelani Jackson coming down with the loose ball. 2.53 to go in the first. Jelani Jackson, one handing it over to Robinson. Robinson thought about the three, gives it back to Jackson. Jackson underhanding it to Gennaros. Gennaros over to Brianna Santos. Santos intercepted by Barrett. And Carver's coach calling for to the house, which one would assume is take the shot yourself, you earned it. 15 to 15, Elizabeth Williams going to come into the game for the boxers. Jade Went handing off to Robinson to Santos. Working her way in, puts it up, counted in one for Bri uh, Santos. Brianna Santos who took that shot for the boxers. It was a nice job, Brianna went to a left side with the defense on her and somehow wiggled her way in there to get the shot off and uh, got fouled. Brianna Santos for three points the old fashioned way. No good, Carver coming down with the rebound. He, uh, the court intercepted by Jackson who did the old Malcolm Butler in the end zone yes. interception attempt. Yeah. 
Good illustration right there. Drop, drop. Kayla Robinson streaking up court for the boxers, giving it to Jelani Jackson. Pump fake for three, gives it to Gennaros. Gennaros to Jade Went short two is good. Nice, nice pass, nice shot. Jade Went didn't waste no time putting the ball up. She didn't put it on the ground, she just shot it. The court down low off the glass, bad angle is good, 19 to 17 in a very high scoring first quarter here at Staff Gymnasium. Yeah, not a lot of misses. Both teams are on clicking on their offense. Robinson to Santos for three is good. Wow. Lady boxes are hot. Indiana Barrett trying to get it into Peyton Holmes, successful. Holmes over to number four, her three no good. Jelani Jackson coming down with the rebound, getting through three. Crusaders, Santos all the way in, off the glass and in. Just great transition game, led by um, Jackson coming down and passing it off. Miles, if the boxers keep up this pace, they're on target for 100 points this game. Yes, they are. The court for three, no good. Offensive board for number 20. Caitlin Rudnick getting her own rebound, no good. Jade went with the rebound. He gives it to Jelani Jackson, slowing up the pace of play just a little bit. 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Jelani Jackson for 1,000 off the glass, no good. Jade went with the rebound, that's no good. Nice job by Wint. She just didn't get a good handle on the ball, I don't think, to put it up there off the glass. 50, play for one, 50. Down low for number four, Emma Simmons, her first couple of minutes in the game. Gennaros down low for Robinson. She puts it off the back of the rim, no good. And carrying it out of bounds was Alex Gennaros. Elizabeth Williams in for Brianna Santos. 10.1 left in the first quarter. No shot clock for the Carver Crusaders. Jade Wint, rather Alex Gennaros, going to be called for the arm bar, my favorite made-up call in the MIAA rulebook. Three seconds left, and Carver is not going to get a shot up before the buzzer sounds. The score at the end of the first quarter, 24 to 17. An explosion of points, really, for both sides, but the Brockton Boxers offense have been clicking on all cylinders tonight. Exactly, uh, Matt, that's why they're up seven points. I mean, the Crusaders have been shooting well, but the boxes, Lady Boxers have been shooting even better. And that's what they have to do. Keep hitting them shots, put pressure on the, uh, on the, uh, on, um, Crusaders offense, and uh, they'll so, so sooner or later, I think they'll start to run away from this team. I could just tell that they're a little bit slower than the Lady Boxers. Uh, and I, I just see the Lady Boxers with their bench play that um, they won't miss a mark even with the um, bench players coming in. 24-17 at the end of the first quarter. The Brockton Boxers leading the Carver Crusaders. We're going to step aside and take a very short break and bring you the second quarter of action right after this. anything for kids. Yet one in six children in the U.S. struggle with hunger. Help end childhood hunger near you. Learn how at feedingamerica.org. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for the second quarter of action between the Carver Crusaders and your Brockton Boxers. If you're just joining us on this magical run for the Brockton Boxers, they come in with a lead of 24 to 17 over the Crusaders. And that's just the first quarter of scoring. Michaela Robinson to Gennaro, she takes a three that's gonna come up short. The rebound over to Caitlin Rudnick of the Crusaders. Jelani Jackson stands at 997 points in her high school career. And thus is three away from a thousand, which is quite the milestone for any high school athlete. Michaela Robinson for wow. three is good. Nice hit, shot there by Michaela. One toe, I think so. Okay. Had an open shot and took it. Away. Simmons in Go. for vertical. Vertical. Holmes. Holmes over to Indiana 29. Barrett. 29. 29. Go, 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 go. 
Barrett yeah. back to Holmes. Holmes now over to DeCourt. Head on, head on. DeCourt go, go, go. to number 20, Rudnick. 10 seconds on the Ten shot seconds. clock. Nine, Simmons three. working her way in. Off the glass, no good, but she was fouled on her way in. It's going to go against Michaela Robinson, called for the hold. Yeah, Brockton playing good defense there, making um, the Crusaders go inside the 10 second shot clock. They kept them from scoring up until about 10 seconds and then the Crusaders went in for the drive and um, luckily for them they were fouled, but good defense by the Brockton boxes. Well, Jade Wint replaces Annalicia Fernandez. Wint immediately getting a rebound, getting it to Jelani Jackson. 6.45 left to go in the first half. Gennaros with a prayer from almost beyond the goal line. Wint coming down with the rebound, putting it up and in. Nice job by Jade Wint. Went up strong for that rebound and just flicked it back up there softly. Find the body, please. From a Simmons to Barrett. Barrett has her shot blocked by Michaela Robinson. Loose ball, scrum on the floor, picked up by Gennaros. A quick whistle that and a was, jump ball yeah, whistle. That was a quick whistle, Matt. That you. ball was still loose. And uh, the referee got a little excited and called a jump ball a little bit too early. Well, the Brock boxers will have possession. Jelani Jackson with it. Jackson to Gennaros. Michaela Robinson overstepped the pass just a little bit. Went for a long two, no good. Slapped out of bounds, that should go against Carver, and it does. Alex Gennaros to inbound with 6.05 to go. Jade went down low off the glass and in. Wow, nice job by Went, moving without the basketball. Nice pass by Gennaros. Miles, you talk about coming alive at the right time. Jade Went started the season slow, she started it under the radar. The last two games, like I said, Last week against Abington, 16 points, 16 rebounds. Today, she's on target for about the same numbers. Really a big contribution for the underclassmen, for the boxers. Exactly, she's only a sophomore, so she has a lot of learning. And she's, like you said, she's picked it up early. And Jackson for three and a thousand, and this one off the front of the rim. She threw it up from five feet beyond the three-point arc. Yeah, that was a long three. And we've seen her hit half courts before, so nothing's out of the question for Jelani Jackson. High out, high class, high class. High class. Uh, excuse me, and again, Jay Went, she's only a sophomore, and uh, she's picking up this game very well during this uh, season here. And we look really for big things for go, her go, next go, year. Go, go, that cut? Holly Luzon with it working timeout, against sir. Elizabeth William. And a timeout called by the head coach of the Carver Crusaders didn't like what he saw, so 5.07 to go. Carver will have a 10 second shot clock when we come back to action. 31-19, a 12 point edge for the Brockton Boxers. Yep, the reason it's a 12 point edge, boxers are hitting their shots, and it, it's everybody. It's being uh, spread around very nicely. Everybody's hitting their shots, and, they're, and the Lady Boxers are playing tough, tough defense on this Carver team. They're really having a tough time trying to get a shot off. So uh, that's why you've got a 31-19 point Lady Boxer lead at the moment. 12 point edge, 5.07 to go in the second quarter. Brockton looking to enter the MIAA playoffs with a very strong end of the season. Like I said, they have defeated the Durfee Hilltoppers, New Bedford Whalers, the Abington Green Wave and the Marshfield Rams and looking to Put a five game win streak on the line today against the Carver Crusaders. The rankings come out later this week for both boys and girls basketball and hockey. Check our Twitter feed at the Brockton channel for where the boxers will be playing and when, wherever that may be, a BCA will be there. Barrett into number four, Emma Simmons, the freshman guard. Simmons off of the shin of Holly Luzon. Luzon picking it up. Shot clock expires and Brockton comes away with it. Yeah, the, the Lady Crusaders had no clue that they were down to a few seconds there. A little bit of lack of communication. Santos in Elizabeth Williams taking a breather on the bench. Jelani Jackson with it. Over to Alex Gennaros. Gennaros driving inside. Yeah, she carried. Call for the carry. 
and the Crusaders will take over. Barrett to Peyton Holmes, Holmes to Simmons. Simmons to Barrett, driving baseline, puts up a floater, no good. J uh, Jelani Jackson with the rebound, one handing it up to Gennaros, to uh, Santos down low, and a little bit too much mustard on it. Jade Wynn out of nowhere with the rebound to Gennaros, and her floater is good. Excellent job by Jade Wynn, hanging there, falling down, and somehow got the pass off. Santos coming up with the steal. She gives it to Jelani Jackson, 4.15 to go in an action-packed first half. Jelani Jackson over to Michaela Robinson, thought about the three, instead, Throws it off the arm of Indiana Barrett. Santos forced to chase it down inside the half court line. Jelani Jackson back stepping and setting up the boxer offense. Gennaros in for Santos to Jackson. Jackson driving inside, puts up a bad angle shot, no good. And the rebound to Carver. Indiana Barrett for Simmons. Simmons off the glass and in. Terrible angle and she still found a way. Still found a way, kind of hooked it over there. Nice drive to the basket. And that was a tough shot to uh, defend. She put that up with her left hand. Robinson back and forth with Brianna Santos. Now Alex Gennaros now down low for Santos. Has her shot blocked by DeCourt. And Carver comes away with the loose ball. 3-10 to go in the second quarter. Brockton up by 12. Jelani Jackson tipping the rebound to Gennaros and for Robinson off the glass and in. Now the bullet pass by Gennaros. He saw uh, Robinson up front heading to the basket. Nice pass. And we take this opportunity to remind you that Alexandra Gennaros is a freshman. Yes. DeCourt. Coming out of the game in favor of number 12. On the X, Kira T. Ratanison. Good job. Gonna have to double check that pronunciation at halftime. Yeah, I would have been tongue tied on that one. Yeah! Michaela glad, Robinson. Or rather, Jade Wint called for the hit. So Peyton Holmes at the line for two shots. 14 point edge for the boxers, 35 to 21. Holmes good on her first attempt. Holmes for two, no good. Counted in one for number 44, Holly Luzon, who made a very good move to get the rebound and fouled on her way back up on the putback attempt. Yeah, that was just great effort by the Lady uh, Crusaders to get a second and third attempt at that um, offensive um, rebounds there and took advantage and lose on the back of the rim, no good. Jelani Jackson with it. Jackson to Santos for three, no good. Santos throwing it out of bounds off of Carver, very acrobatic move very. by Brianna Santos and that is out of bounds off of Ratanison. Santos in for Jackson. Jackson to Gennaros. In for Jade Witt. Spinning and shooting no good. Gets her own rebound. Throws it right to Ratanison. Peyton Holmes overhands for Barrett. Her one-handed floater is good. Wow. Good play right there by the Crusaders. Jelani Jackson driving inside. Has her shot blocked by Luzon. Off the back of the head of Ratanison. Picked up by Holmes. Holmes recovering to Barrett. Off the glass and in. Good ball movement right there by the Lady Crusaders. They got a little run going. Cut the lead down to seven points. 90 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Alex Gennaros losing it, getting it back. Flinging it to Jade, went high off the glass, takes a bad bounce off of the rim. Brianna Santos coming down with the rebound. Santos wow. is off the glass, low wow. off the glass and in. That was quite a hustle by Santos. 
Luzon can't handle a Hail Mary. And Fernandez comes back into the game for Brianna Santos. Yeah, she's gonna get a well-deserved rest. She's a little winded. One minute to go in the second quarter. Jelani Jackson to Gennaros. In for Jade Witt. Down low for Fernandez. Reverse layup, a little too much mustard on it. The rebound to Rick Tennyson. Hail Mary pass again. This one brought down by DeCourt off the glass. No good. Good luck. Yeah. Holmes down low off the glass. And in 40 seconds to go. A seven point ball game. 37 to 30. Brockton on top. The last couple of minutes, the Car Crusaders have started to throw up long Hail Mary passes and they're starting to get the hang of it just a little bit. Yep, they've gotten some breaks and they've taken advantage of, they've took advantage of the breaks that were given to them and um, decreased this lead a little bit. 50, 50, Peyton Holmes with 20 seconds left, turns it over to Michaela Robinson, to Jelani Jackson and alone slowing up, puts up a bad angle shot, tips her own rebound, gets oh. her own rebound and she's Knocked down to the floor, she'll be at the line for two shots. Are they gonna call that an inbounding foul? I thought she was, thought she was in shooting. the act of shooting. Delani Jackson, 10 seconds left. Jade went spinning shooting and she's fouled. Jade went at the line, 6.7 to go. We're gonna run regular, right? No, vapor, we're gonna run vapor. Went good on her first attempt. 38 to 38 point edge for the boxers. Went two for two at the line, 6.7 to go. Nine point edge for the boxers. Emma Simmons up for DeCourt. DeCourt turns it over. But Jelani Jackson can't handle it. The buzzer sounds. The first half has come to an end. 39 to 30. Jelani Jackson is three points away from 1,000. Miles, what did you see in that first half that really an onslaught of offense from the Brockton Boxers? Yeah, in that first quarter and part of the second quarter, it was an onslaught of offense. But then uh, Crusaders found their little niche, started scoring a few points. And um, so it's right now it's a pretty good ball game. 39 to 30, the Brockton Boxers leaving the, leading the Carver Crusaders at halftime. We're gonna step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Carver Crusaders and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner for today's festivities, big game Miles Jackson. Miles, a very high scoring first half. 39 to 30 in favor of the Boxers. Jelani Jackson up to Alex Gennaros. We've heard those two names a lot today. And there you hear it again. Nice pass by Gennaro's. Acti started off with Jackson to Gennaro's to uh, Robinson. Story of today, of course, is Jelani Jackson at the current moment is at 997 points in her high school career. A short three away from a big milestone that hasn't been hit since 2009 here in Brockton. Of course, the great Taryn Johnson, the last boxer to reach that milestone. Gennaros to Robinson, she takes a three, that's off both sides of the rim and out. Indiana Barrett bringing down the rebound for the Crusaders. Luzon short two off the glass and in. 41 
to 32 the score. Brockton up by 11. Well done. Jackson to Gennaros, pump fakes, works her way baseline, gives it to Annalisa Fernandez, count it in one for Fernandez. Hey, Gennaro's been on the um, her A game as far as the passing goes. Nice crisp zip passes to her teammates, and most of the time they've been taking advantage and putting the ball in the basket. A lot of the, a lot of the assists by Gennaro's this evening. Rim, rim, rim. Look for it, look for it, look for it, quick, quick, quick. Fernandez go. good on her free throw attempt, 44 to 32. Michaela Robinson clogging up the passing lane, but can't hold on to it. Goes out of bounds, and Carver will wait, try it wait. again. Peyton Holmes with it. Across the half court line. To Indiana Barrett. Barrett, nowhere to go with it. Loses it to Michaela Robinson. Robinson up the other way, hands it to Jelani Jackson. Jackson back to Robinson. Thought about the three, gives it to Gennaros. Gennaros to Jackson. She takes a three from the top of the key and that's wide to the left. Fernandez on the rebound. Tipping it to Jackson. Jackson works her way back outside the arc. Spinning with it. Putting up a wild shot off the glass. No good. Fernandez again tipping the rebound. And this one's brought down by Holmes. The turnover to Michaela Robinson. Back, right back the other way for Carver. Holmes for three is good. 44 to 35. Nine point edge for the boxers. Jelani Jackson with it. Jackson floating it up for Robinson. Back to Jackson. Over to Alex Gennaros. Gennaros to Jackson. 10 on the shot clock. Jackson puts up a long three for a thousand. No good. And it's just going to be out of bounds off of Brockton. Is that a white? Away, away, away. So of course the fifth game in three days for Brockton Community Access, a very dedicated staff. Dedicated and four. exhausted staff. Exhausted, absolutely. Jackson tipping the steal to Gennaros. Gennaros stopping and popping, fouled, and will be at the line for two shots. It all started late Friday afternoon over at AZF Hockey Rink. The Brockton Boxers in a very well-spirited effort against the Norwood Mustangs, coming away with a two-to-one victory in which Anthony Paul scored with 35 seconds remaining to take the W for the Boxers. And Friday night we were here for the Catholic Memorial Knights drubbing of the Brockton High Boys basketball team. Shut up, shut up, go, go, but that was a good game up until about the middle of the third quarter. Brockton hung really well with them. Johnny Jackson coming down with the rebound. More on a crazy weekend later. Jackson off the glass yeah. and in, and she's at one. 999 points for Jelani Jackson as a Brockton boxer. Nice job finding a lane right there and took advantage of it. Saturday afternoon, it was much the same story as the Brockton boxers hockey team took on the Durfee Hilltoppers and clinched the big three divisional title by a victory with a score of six to nothing, seven on the shot clock now. And last night we were right here at Staff Gymnasium for the Brockton High boys basketball team's 20 point victory against the Marshfield Rams. And uh, Carver's gonna call a timeout. Yeah. Of course right here we're, we've got the Carver Crusaders against the Brockton Boxers and it all wraps up tomorrow as the Natick Red Hawks come to town to face the Brockton Boxers hockey team over at AZF. Then we have a day off. You have a day off. We have a day off. And then we're right back at the hockey rink on Wednesday as the Walpole Rebels come to town, the second ranked in the state Walpole Rebels. Yeah, I've heard about them. They're a pretty good hockey team. They're pretty good. They're pretty, we tied them last year three to three. A game which the Brockton Boxers put up a very good effort and really deserved the win. 4-10 to go in the third period. Brockton up by 15, 50 to 35 the score. And the 
Regular season for BCA wraps up on Friday afternoon over at AZF as the hockey team faces the Mansfield Hornets. So Jelani Jackson at 999 points in her high school career. Could do her signature drive to the basket, get fouled and put up a free throw for her thousandth point if she really wanted to. Travel call against Indiana Barrett. And Jelani Jackson with it now. Screen left, call screen left, screen left. Good. Jackson handing off to Alex Gennaros. Gennaros takes an outside step, gives it to Robinson, to Gennaros, to Jackson for three and a thousand, no good. Brought down by DeCourt of the Crusaders. Now a three for Emma Simmons, no good. A lot of bodies on the floor there for that loose ball. Jelani Jackson with it now. Three left, three left, three left. that right. Good. To Michaela Robinson. Robinson to Gennaros. Whoa, nice pass. Nice Hernandez pass. down low. And it's counted and one. Yeah, I think Gennaros fooled the uh, defense of Carver and thought they thought she was going up with it and she just did a nice little underhanded pass to Fernandez. She was ready for the pass. Rip, rip, rip. Fernandez off the rebound called for the travel. 52 to 35 the score, brought up by 17 points. 321 left to go in the third quarter. Fernandez coming up with a steal off the glass and again she's called for the travel. I'm not seeing these travels. I, I definitely didn't see that travel. I'll give the refs a benefit of doubt on the first one. It was close, but that second one, I don't know. Peyton Holmes with it to Emma Simmons. Simmons to Barrett. Michaela Robinson tipping the pass, forcing Barrett to reset. DeCourt for three is no good. Jelani Jackson with the rebound. Three minutes to go. Jelani Jackson working on 1,000 points. Setting up the boxer offense from the top of the key. One hands it to Robinson. Robinson to Santos. Her three off the back of the rim. Fernandez and DeCourt fighting for the rebound. It's going to be DeCourt out of bounds. So Brockton with a fresh 30 seconds. 2.42 to go in the third quarter. Fernandez down low, fouled. It's going to be Holly Luzon called for the block. Fernandez really um, showing herself on the boards, offensive boards especially. She's fighting for everything, getting a lot of the rebounds and getting second attempts at the basket. Good on her first attempt. 14 yeah, fouls yeah, against the Carver Crusaders. Not a lot of fouls this game. There's no. only five against each team in the first half. Fernandez missing her second attempt. Santos tipping the rebound. Fernandez picking up the loose ball. Gives it to Gennaros. Gennaros to Jackson. Jackson driving inside. Floater for a thousand. Wide to the right. Gennaros handing it to Jackson. Jackson with a floater. This one off the front of the rim. Jackson gets her own rebound. Jelani Jackson, 30 seconds on the shot clock. Now 25. Feet, feet, the Jackson working well. Where's the foul? Again, Fernandez comes down with it. Her floater no good. Jackson tipping the, re uh, the rebound. We're going to have a foul. It's going to go against Annalisa Fernandez. Called for the hold. I don't know. That last time that uh, Jackson went into the red paint. And we get an elbow on the nose to number 20 of the Carver, Bull, uh, Carver Crusaders, Caitlin Rudnick. And Rudnick is leaking. No, that's okay, go ahead, do your thing. 
Kayla Robinson coming down with the rebound. 53-35, a minute 52 in the third quarter. The boxers forcing it to Jelani Jackson, trying to get her over that mark. And a travel going to be called against Brockton. Yeah, like you said, Lady Boxers are trying to um, help Jackson out. 41 right, 41 right, 41 get, right. Break the ice and get that 1,000 point. Peyton Holmes stopping, popping for two, no good. Rebound. <laughs> out of bounds, Jade Wint coming into the game. She replaces in Alicia Fernandez. Forty-four, Holly Luzon with it. Luzon to Simmons. Simmons working her way in, and she's fouled by Gennaro's hand check called against the freshman for the Brockton Boxers. Emma Simmons losing her footing, giving it to Indiana Barrett. Barrett to the court. Back to Simmons. Simmons in for. Holmes off the glass, no good. Offensive board for the Crusaders. Luzon can't do anything with it. Jelani Jackson comes away with the loose ball. One minute to go, Jelani Jackson working way all the way in for a thousand. Oh. That's no good. He had a little bit too much speed. Jade Wint fighting for it on the floor. Jump ball called and it will remain a boxer basketball. 52.5 to go and everybody is holding their breath. Holding their breath. The air got very heavy in this gym after that lab came up just a bit short. So now to Jackson to Gennaro's back to Jackson. Working her way in for a thousand. Oh, look good. She'll be at the line for two shots. She only needs yeah. one for the thousand. And, and the crowd knows it. And the, the crowd, crowd knows, knows it. it. Jackson getting a hearty round of applause. Yeah, there, it is. there we go. Points for Jelani Jackson in her high school career. And she is the latest Brockton boxer to hit that mark. The boxers rush the court, 39 pointed left in the third quarter. And the boxers are celebrating their latest thousand point scorer. Number 23, Jelani Jackson hitting quadruple figures here at Brockton High School. And she has been a major contributor to the Brockton Boxers over the last four years, Miles. Yes, and, and, and for someone as small as Jelani, you got to give her a lot of credit to come out here, fight hard, play great defense, and she has an excellent shot, would sometimes shoot the lights out on other opponents, and she got a well-deserved applause and um, congratulatory to, from the, her teammates and her coach. We should have known that it was going to come on a yeah. Jelani Jackson free throw off of a drive to the basket. It's 54 to 35. Jelani Jackson, 1,001 on her high school career. Hats off to Miss Jackson. 41, 41. Check, box, 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 box. You could see the sigh of relief yes. after she uh. hit that shot. She, she wasn't keeping count because she didn't know until the announcement came on that she just hit it. Right. Number Simmons off the glass and in. 15 Kelly. left in the Go third quarter. Jelani Jackson Hedget. handing Hedget. off to Alex Gennaros. Talk about someone that could be a thousand point scorer. Jade Wint. Boy, the layup is good. Jade just threw it up there without hitting the backboard and nicely went in. Holmes, a buzzer beating layup, count the basket, 57 to 39. The score at the end of the third quarter, Miles. A festive end to the third quarter. Very festive, everybody's breathing a sigh of relief. The monkey's off her back. She's got her 1,000 plus points and just an outstanding season. So uh, outstanding four years from uh, Miss Jelani Jackson. So I'm sure now boxes realize that Jelani's got her points, so they'll come out here in the fourth quarter. I think they're really kind of run away with this thing. 
really put some pressure. They're feeling good about themselves. They're playing good. Again, great time to be playing. Got your A game going on, going into the playoffs. Well, Jackson becomes, like we said, the first boxer to score 1,000 points since the great Taron Johnson. And hoping to carry the momentum into a successful playoff run for the Brockton Boxers. Jackson coming up with the steal, laying it up. Oh, 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 one for Joanna Jackson. That was beautiful. What she did was protect the ball with her body, got the foul, but somehow scoop shot, scoop layup shot, beautiful shot, and got it into for the basket. Basically, that's what she's been doing for these last four years for these lady boxers. Seven fifty to go in the fourth quarter. Brockton up sixty to thirty-nine, looking to string together five consecutive wins heading into the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. Gennaro's coming down with the rebound. Gennaro's all the way in, laying it up, no good. Tipped out of bounds by Analicia Fernandez. Peyton Holmes working against Jackson. Jackson poking it away. Holmes getting it back. Gives it to Barrett. Barrett to Simmons. 15 on the shot clock to court down low. Number 20, Rudnick back into the game after taking an elbow to the face. Fouled. A push called against Alexandra Gennaros. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. She was, she, she was. Gennaros doesn't know what she did. She went to the ref. Yeah, what did yeah, I do? Yeah, all she I do is get in her position. Getting position underneath the basket for the rebound. Santos comes up with the block. And a, out of bounds. This time off of the Brockton boxers. Court stop and pop two, no good. Robinson with the rebound for the boxers. Jelani Jackson. Down low for Fernandez wow. off the glass and in. Good passing yeah. by Jelani Jackson. Let's go, over, over, over. Indiana Barrett to the court. Tipped out of bounds by Jackson. Gennaro's called for another foul, her, I think, fourth of the game. Yeah, she don't understand where the call was. I heard some slapping out there. I wasn't sure if it was her or the other lady boxer, but. Freshman getting some coaching from head coach April Dingwell saying, yeah, that was a foul. You got to keep your arm away from her. Charlie, Charlie. No help, Hank. no help. Jelani Jackson. Freeze, freeze, get hedge it, hedge it. Yeah, good, good switch. Two Gennaros. Wow. Good move by Gennaros. Protecting the ball with one side and fighting off a defender with the other. Sixty-four to forty-one the score. Yeah, Gennaro's gonna get a well-deserved rest. She hasn't made a lot of points tonight, but she sure has gotten a number of assists. Uh, Rock, Rock, 22. Rock, 22. Robinson for three, no good. Fernandez tipping the rebound to Williams, and she puts it up and in. Yeah, Williams is ready. She was playing her defensive, excuse me, offensive position. Ball came right to her, and she put it right back up. Decord on the other end, putting it off the glass, and in 66 to 43 action picking up here. 
in a very high scoring affair here at Staff Gymnasium. The boxers have an eclipse 65 points this season, but they have today. Santos, bad angle off the glass and it. Wow. These lady boxers are really throwing up some uh, tough shots and making them. Barrett to DeCourt. DeCourt turning it over to Jelani Jackson. Jackson throwing it to herself. Stops and pops a very long Bang. two is good. See, once she broke the ice on the 1,000 points, now the, the points are coming easy. She had a little pressure on her to get to that 1,000 point marker, but now it's open game. 1,005 for Jelani Jackson. And right now the victims of this is this Carver team. Jackson, 13 points on the day. Setting up the boxer offense from the top of the key. Backpedaling up to the half court line. Back in to Santos. Brianna Santos to Michaela Robinson. Robinson to Jackson. She takes a three and that's good. Yep, points are coming easy now, Mad Dog. 16 points on the day for Jelani Jackson. And Carver forced to call yet another timeout. 4.25 to go in the fourth quarter. Brought it up by a three spot. 73 to 43, 30 point lead for the boxers. Miles, five, uh, unless the third coming of Jesus and a few small miracles. Brockton will have five consecutive wins heading into the MIAA tournament. Talk about the kind of momentum that gives the boxers and what they can translate from those successes into the playoffs against a team that they might not see a lot, like a Braintree, uh, like a Bishop Feehan, one of those teams. Yeah, well, the Lady Boxers, as you said, they got a lot of momentum going into these playoffs. The best part of momentum is all five starters are playing very well, as well as two or three players coming off the bench are playing extremely well. They're playing good team defense, which is a key when you're making a run to the championship, is to play good defense, and right now, uh, the Lady Boxers are playing great defense and they're complementing it with their offense. DeCourt over to number 20, Caitlin Rudnick. Rudnick over to Holmes. Williams inadvertently stealing the ball off her right arm. Jade went down low, no good. Michaela Robinson with the rebound, flipping it to Jelani Jackson. Santos for three is no good off the front of the rim. The board to Riley DeCourt. Williams coming up with another steal, her second such in the last 30 seconds. Yeah, she's really made a difference coming off the bench. Jackson stopping and popping for two off the back of the rim, getting her own rebound to Williams. Williams thought about the three, now gives it inside for Jade Went at the charity stripe, out to Robinson to Jackson for three, Damn. and it's good! Wow, she's hot right now. 19 on the day for Jelani Jackson. And she needed eight. Right. Just saying. Well, she's really come on like gangbusters since she, again, since she um, broke the ice. Decord off the glass, no good. Jackson with the rebound. Wholesale substitutions for the Carver Crusaders. And a couple of reserves for the boxers. Shanti oh. Allen. As Jade Wint goes off the glass and in, and Josilma Montron getting ready to come to the game for Brockton. Yeah, nice job by Jade Wint. She took her shot and she followed her shot. She followed her shot, got her own rebound, and put the easy two in off the glass. So every Crusader is on the bench. Silma Montron working against number 12. Of course, now there's five more names we got to figure out. Kara T. <laughs> Ratanison. God save the queen. Give, give us the toughest name on the last game of the weekend. High off glass, no good for the Crusaders. Jump ball, Brockton takes over. 
Ray Houston Allen in. Jelani Jackson is going to take a breather. And a round of high five and hugs on the boxer bench. Yeah. She came out here with her A game today as usual. Along with the rest of these lady boxes. They're really looking good going into the playoffs. Montron for three off the front of the rim. 35 point edge for the boxers. 78 to 43 the score over the Carver Crusaders. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joined alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Mouse Jackson. In a historic day here at Staff Gymnasium, Jelani Jackson, 19 points on the day. Uh, puts her at 1,011 on her high school career. I want to take this stoppage to thank our camera crew for today's festivities. We've got Kanyev Yo-Yo up top and Mike the Postman Simmons with his fifth delivery of the weekend to the viewers of Brockton. Even delivering on Sunday for the Postman. I tell you, you and the Postman, you guys are like a tag team this weekend. Taking care of hockey and basketball. Ladies and men's. Ray Houston Allen stopping, popping for two off the back of the rim. No good. The rebound going to number three of the Crusaders. Who, of course is not listed on our roster. The conversation, Miles, on Carver's bench is, listen, she's a senior, Jelani Jackson is, she's a senior, she's worked very hard, and this is the kind of thing that can happen when you put in the work, exactly. when you, you Put the effort in the offseason and when you work hard. Smith exactly. is safe for three. And it's a good message and it's it's I think it's underrated a little bit that Carver is using Jelani Jackson as an example, saying, Listen, I know she's an opponent. I know we don't like opponents, but look at what she just accomplished. Exactly. Oh. Montron down low, Smith the say getting the rebound, no good. This rebound picked up by number 25 of the Crusaders. Jasoma Matron with 44 seconds left. Ashanti Allen to Renee Houston Allen over to Samantha Say, the senior to Jasoma Montron to Williams, 15 on the shot clock. Williams with a floater off the rim, no good. Rebound popping up, brought down by number 14. That is Megan Nickerson. Long two, no good. Say coming down with the rebound for the boxers. The shot clock is off and 10 seconds left, Montron for a last second three, no good, out of bounds. Carver takes over with 7.0 on Carver, the clock. Sky 14, Sky 14, Sky 14, let's go. Seven on the clock. Sky 14, go, 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 go. 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 Two, one, the buzzer sounds, and the Brockton Boxers have five straight wins, Miles. 1,011 points for Jelani Jackson, a five-game winning streak for the Boxers heading into the MIAA sub-sectional tournament. Yeah, and again, I must stress, there's no better way of going into the playoffs with your momentum behind you. Your all five starters are playing very well. Two or three bench players are coming off the bench and putting in their uh, two cents worth, which has been very important with weight and company coming in. It just looks very well right now for the boxers to maybe make some waves in the playoffs. Miles, to put a wrap on the story, talk about the contributions of Jelani Jackson to the Brockton Boxers girls basketball team. Well, she's a senior and she's led by leadership all year. She's been a role player, always a good attitude when she's out there. She listens to a coach. She's not greedy out there. She plays team basketball. Just a great example for the other um, underclassmen of the lady boxers to uh, look up to.
An explanation point win for the Brockton Boxers, 78 to 43. That's right, a 35 point victory for the Boxers over their Plymouth County counterpart in the Carver Crusaders. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, our camera guys for today's festivities, Mike the Postman Simmons, Konyev Yo-Yo, my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.